everyone, I'm Kathy Lean. It's been a busy week here at BK Forex. We banked over 200 pips, the best week we've had since last May for my zip trades. And I'm particularly proud of that because volatility and uncertainty in the equity market has been quite heightened. We also launched a free Discord server where we share tips like this and trade ideas. Join us, the link is in the description. In this video, I wanna share my number one forex trading trick and trust me it's not betting on red or black it is watching one instrument and keying my forex trades off its movements it is the most important fundamental relationship in fx which is bond yields if there is only one thing that you can understand when it comes to fundamentals one thing that you can follow it should be the 10-year u.s yield you can find it free on tradingview.com. Here's a snapshot of my watch list. The symbol is US10Y. You can call it up by hitting the plus sign, then typing US10Y, and this is the one that you want here. I want you to take a look at these charts. The first one is the daily chart of dollar yen and the US 10 year yield. The orange line is the 10 year rate. The candlesticks is dollar yen. You can easily see that they move in lockstep with each other. This is a chart of the one hour time frame, and you can see that the relationship is just as tight. Now I have to admit, buying dollar yen at 32 year highs is a tough trade, and I did not take it. Instead, this past week, I went long US dollars via Aussie, Euro, and Pound. I also bought CAD yen a number of times on the prospect of good CAD data and a big rate hike in October. But you don't need to worry about all that. Just focus on the treasury yield. These are some charts I posted on my Discord channel this past week explaining the trades I took in dollar Swiss and euro dollar, illustrating how the most important relationship is between the dollar and US yields. On Friday, I shorted Aussie dollar. This daily chart shows the tight relationship between the 10 year yield and dollar Aussie. I inverted Aussie dollar to make the chart and the point clear. Narrowing it down to the one hour chart, you can see that the relationship still holds. I send out trade ideas using Zip to our BK members twice a day at the New York and Asia Open. This was a New York Open trade. At 6 a.m., US yields were higher. I went short Aussie dollar. It's shown inverted on this chart, so long dollar Aussie at 62.47. It went down almost 40 pips within a few hours. Not a big trade, but a decent, well thought out one. That's also the secret to trading the US yield relationship. Usually the opportunity is over right before the US equity market open, because that's when investors start to shift their focus to stocks. To summarize, my number one trick for trading Forex is take a second glance over at the US yield rate and the change for the day. If the U.S. 10-year yield is up, look for opportunities to buy the U.S. dollar against other currencies. If it is down, look for opportunities to sell the greenback in the early New York hours before the bell rings at the New York Stock Exchange. Even if trading fundamentals or keying off yields is not your thing, the best advice I can give you to save you some pips is don't fade the direction of U.S. 10-year yields. If U.S. deals are up, don't sell U.S. dollars. If it is down, avoid buying U.S. dollars. I use this trick every single day to select the best zip trades at the early New York Open. If you want to get tips like this every day and not just once a week, or if you want to see more real-life examples of zip trades as they move every week, join my Discord server. The link is in the description below.